Uh, what is good guys my name is Jason Morrison welcome back to my channel uh, today I just wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind a little bit just because yesterday I shot at a pretty cool location and uh, I think it's something that a lot of filmmakers struggle with especially me um, which is why it kind of inspired me to make this video uh, kind of inspired me to think of this topic um, and I think a lot of you guys can kind of benefit from what I have to say and maybe you guys can put down in the comments and let me know if you guys feel the same way honestly I think a lot of us mess up with location scouting just because we don't look for locations ahead of time i mean i have probably looked for a location ahead of time like a handful of times maybe i could count it on one hand you know what i mean like i really don't um go out with the intention or not even go out because by that time you're already outside but like i don't go into a shoot or wanting to make a project with location scouting in mind i don't try and look for a really dope spot before i you know get my stuff together and go shoot i just kind of grab my stuff go out try to find a dope spot and then kind of work with what i got out there which is fine i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys do the same thing as well but i feel like it's not a very efficient way to make films or make videos depending on what type of video you're making like if you're making a music video or whatever run and gunning and just trying to find a dope spot can work but i feel like location scouting would definitely help you like 10 times more before that but i think a lot of us kind of fail to use our environment in an interesting way um and i'm guilty of this as well like i'll feel like there's not like a lot of interesting stuff around where i live or interesting stuff in my area that i can work with um which is definitely completely false but you know you get so used to where you live to where you are almost accustomed to your surrounding area or you're just bored of it and you feel like there's nothing interesting where you live which is you know completely false because someone who's never been in your area could probably show up and they feel like something that you've been living next to for like damn near 10 years uh could be like a dope little film spot or a def or a nice shot or nice composition or something like that like just something that they could turn into something really cool um and just because you've been living there your whole life you're like oh that's that's not interesting that's boring as shit um and you know i mean it's just like that like you kind of have to change your way of thinking and just kind of use what you have uh and just try to turn it into something i mean a few months ago or when i first started filmmaking or getting into filmmaking i remember watching a yc imaging video um talking about location scouting and oh no no it wasn't location scouting it was he turned his house into like a, vi a music video set which was really dope to see because I mean, that just really paints a picture that you can really turn anything that you want into something really dope, um, especially like music videos. I don't really do music videos myself, but like if I was, or if you guys do music videos and you're watching this video specifically, um, I recommend, I'll put his video actually down in the description of this one, just because I think it was really cool the way he was able to turn his house into like a music video set. Um, and it just kind of goes to show you that you can really turn any spot that you're at if, if you're creative enough if you can really make a picture and plan out ahead of time into anything that's really dope for um, a music video or a short film or whatever you have going on i also feel like a lot of us think that we need to live in like a really big city um like la or nyc um you know miami or whatever but i i mean i think that's completely false even though i'd be thinking that sometimes like i want to go vacation or like visit nyc one day just to, like get some like really dope um clips and just shots and all this other stuff but i mean you really don't need that like i said you can really turn anything into something creative i mean i'm sure there's something dope from you even 30 minutes away like even if you live in the middle of nowhere i'm really sure that you could find something that's pretty dope like a really dope spot that you've never even thought of never seen um like just super close to you 30 minutes away an hour away um i think it's worth it to dedicate yourself to try and find really cool spots because you know, in the slim chance that you are in the middle of nowhere and there's really nothing interesting near you, uh, I think you just kind of have to use that extra dedication, like get in your car, go drive an hour away to find a dope spot and go film there. But I mean, there's been cool places even where I live, my city now, it's, I don't, I don't even want to call it that because it's been a town for so long, but in the city that I live, I feel like there's nowhere to go film. Um, even now, I drive around for an hour and I can't find anything to, to go shoot, but a few weeks ago, the last video I made in the woods uh, with my boy Ralph, um, that spot I didn't even know about until like a few days before we filmed that, and that's just because my sister told me about it. So, you know what I mean? Like, I was thinking that there was not really anything cool around where I live, and then next thing you know, I find that spot, and that turned into a whole video. So, 
even if you yourself can't find a dope spot for a video, maybe, you know, ask some friends, family or whatever, or, or just some other filmmakers in your area that just happen to be nearby or something like that. Just ask them where dope spots are at or, or just try to bounce ideas off of them because I'm sure eventually you're going to find, uh, you know, something you can work with. I think it's pretty, it's pretty slim to none chance that you're not going to find anything interesting around you. But at the end of the day, I feel like the biggest reason why new filmmakers, uh, me included, obviously struggle with this is just because we're going in very closed minded. Um, some of us, I mean, I don't know if it's just me or if other people struggle with this as well, but you don't want to like go out and film when there's a shit ton of people around you or the area you're at isn't like an opportune place to, to film. But honestly, man, like I say, screw all that. I say just use whatever you got, whatever surroundings you have, go in very open minded, um, whether there's people around you whether whether the spot isn't like anything too crazy like i'm sure you can actually find interesting composition interesting little places to get some sort of shoot out of really anything i mean if he can turn his house into a music video set i'm sure a lot of us can turn whatever we can into something interesting uh but without me rambling i feel like that's kind of what i wanted to get off my chest and i think a lot of you guys will probably relate to me so put down in the comments if you guys um kind of struggle with finding locations to go film as well and uh, make sure to drop a like on this video because I'll be putting out more videos just like this. I have more videos in the tuck that I'm creating right now. Um, so if you guys are new, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel uh, with film related content, but other, other stuff as well as I grow and just getting used to the camera. So it's been Jason Morrison, guys. Hope you guys catch another video of mine and deuces.